Ugh, coffee. <laughs> Did you appreciate that little ASMR? So I've been seeing these AI portraits all over the place, so I thought I would try one and show you all today. So first I would like to say, I personally believe that AI art should not and cannot replace the art made by human beings. If you want a great self-portrait, try and find an artist whose style you really like and that way you can help support a small artist. I'm going to be purchasing some AI art. I myself am an artist and I have done my own self-portraits. I don't think it's bad to purchase AI art if you want to get AI art done, but like if you want like a really nice self-portrait find an actual artist that won't potentially give you three arms like a lot of these AI paintings I see um, people are getting they're just showing up with extra limbs that aren't there um, unless you want that look which is fine I myself am an artist and I could paint my pointer anytime um, but I'm just doing this for fun because at the end of the day we just need more fun in our lives right super cold in my house I am freezing hot coffee so warm and nice but I've been seeing a lot of people using the, I believe it's My Heritage, the AI time machine self-portrait uh, thingamajig. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. Essentially, it can paint you in the style of like a historical figure or at any point in history. And since I love historical fashion, I think this is the one for me. There's a bunch of different kinds of AI art things, but since I like historical fashion, I'm gonna go for this one. I kind of want to pick out the clothes it puts me in too. By the way, this is not sponsored by anyone or anything, I just want to try this one. Time to upload the photos. I need some full body shots, uh, upper body, 10 close-ups. Upload, 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 upload. This one has a ton of filter on it. Maybe it'll get my poofy hair in there. Cause when my hair's longer, it gets pretty poofy. What is my name? Victoria Ray, because I am a victorious light. I am a female. And now we wait. <gasps> Really cold in here. I'm freezing. I'm freezing. The AI Time Machine Time Travel Package you have purchased includes approximately 500 incredible AI generated images for one person featured in more than 50 time travel themes. You were charged $12. Your invoice is attached. Okay. I want the pictures. I guess I'm just waiting. Don't know how long it's gonna take. I'm really freaking cold. I think I'm gonna go get a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> so the photos that I chose where like a lot of them were me in my historical dresses. Just to give it a little, little hint, I'm gonna be judging them. The way to wear a beanie right is just so you can't even see. Yes. I don't care about the presents. Underneath the Christmas tree. few images. Oh, oh my god, this looks really good. This was a good investment. <gasps> These look pretty. From the first few that I see, they look pretty like me, pretty much like me. Because some people's theirs didn't look like them. That, that's what I was afraid of along with the freaking third arm. But enough with the suspense. I'm going to show you guys. Can I see the full one? Or is it not showing? Okay, that is the full one. It just doesn't show my face. <laughs> That's a cool outfit though. That looks like me. It's a little bit different, but that looks like me. She even has the bangs because I usually have, I mean, I have shorter hair, but like I, when I have longer hair. Oh my God, I'm beautiful. Now I want to make these dresses. I'm going to have to make these dresses. Okay, so the first categories are like, ancient greek i admittedly don't know a lot about this era of fashion history it reminds me a lot of like a pre-raphaelite painting from the victorian era that's a pretty dress <laughs> that's a really pretty dress i'm gonna have to make that okay that looks cool it looks very comfy looks like i could make it out of bed sheet which would make it even better because it'd be cheap as heck oh i look really pretty in this it it definitely took um some i noticed some like inspiration like from my victorian 1890s ball gown because it has the lace off the shoulders and the asymmetrical um, bodice. 
Okay, this one, uh, like, it looks like me, but it doesn't. The eyes, they look like my eyes, because one of my eyes is a little bit, like, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, one of them is a little bit, like, slimmer than the other. But most people wouldn't notice that unless they were looking really closely, and I look at myself really closely in the mirror, so I notice that. Greek goddess? I would assume Greek goddess would be similar to ancient Greece, but no! Oh, no. It's really pretty. That doesn't look like me. Yeah, these ones don't look as much like me. I haven't seen any third arms yet, which is great. Persian princess? Oh, wow. Oh, they gave me darker hair. I have dark I have dark brown hair, but not that dark brown. I want to make all these dresses. They're really gorgeous. This looks like me in another lifetime, which makes sense because this is literally a time machine type photo generator. She definitely had like the tragic love of a century. She died at the end of the story. She is the evil queen. She's plotting things. She's got Cersei Lannister vibes. And I should probably just skip to the ones, like the eras that I know more about. So I'm excited for this one. This is one of my favorite eras. 18th century France. I'm a huge uh, Marie Antoinette fanatic. Oh no. Oh, hmm. If I wasn't judging by like historical accuracy, these dresses are all really pretty. The colors are nice because they're more pastels, which were really popular in that century. The silhouette of the dresses, especially the bodices, are not 18th century. Um, 18th century is like known for its like square necklines and the robe à la française. These look a lot like maybe 18... 30... No, not 1830s. 18... 40s evening gown that one looks victorian but is it saying 18th century no oh there's this one there's this one where like i'm not like the sleeves are like halfway down my arm they start at my elbows which is a fashion look i actually kind of want to make this i love the little strip of hot pink but is it marie antoinette no i can see like with the hair they were trying they made the hair a little bit bigger and they added like pearls and feathers in this era um people really didn't have bangs and they loved high high hair into the 18th century like the decade with the highest hair i think was like 1770s they had smaller hairdos earlier and mid 18th century they had powdered hair noble woman lady Ooh, i really like the colors they look very like subtle i think a lot of these worked out so well because i used photos of me in my historical dress <clears throat> this one it didn't specifically like define which era it was in it just said noble woman lady art nouveau poster so yes just definitely taking a lot of inspiration from mucha Ooh, i love the blue i've got cats in my arm i've got a lot of cats in my arm why do all of them have cats okay what does it say wart new or and wart ottoman empire bride it's giving cultural appropriation I mean, there's a lot of cultures, like I'm not Greek either, but this one especially. Oh, that one's eye is messed up. Okay, first one that I've seen where the, the face or something is definitely wrong. 1920s flapper, all right, doing something different. Getting out of the far back times. That doesn't look, no, that doesn't, no, what is this? I look like freaking Mike from Stranger Things. That's not 1920s at all. What's up with that sweater? Okay, this one, it's definitely trying a little bit more. I'm holding some, I think it's supposed to be wine, but it looks more like a little mini red squirt gun and I'm about to squirt myself in the face. It looks a little bit more 1920s or at least the cliche stereotype of what 1920s look like. I've got the hair, which isn't bad. It's shorter, which people in the 1920s did have shorter hair. They've got the headband. That's not 1920s really like, I mean, they're around, but it's really not as popular as we have in our heads. This is literally just a photo that I uploaded. Again, I have yet to see a third arm. 1940s! I've got a lot of photos of my grandma from the 1940s, and she is a fashion icon. So hopefully some of these will live up to that. No, okay, yeah, no, it didn't. This doesn't look 1940s. A couple of them look Victor like my Victorian dress. I'd say they look 1950s. This, the second one, with like the blue collar, she looks like she could be in the 1940s and her hair is about the length of the 1940s along with like the little bangs and she looks like she might be wearing a hat, I can't quite see. She looks straight up 1950s to me, like just the cut of her blouse and the sleeves and her hair is a little bit more like rounded out. Uh, 1940s painter. 
looks more Victorian. It doesn't look like paintings from the 1940s at all. Um, it looks almost like 18th century paintings. Like this one, she's even got like the little gloves and the square neckline. Her hair is not 18th century, but the one in the green would be better if my eye wasn't like that. 1940s glamour girl. La 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 glamour glam. Oh, these look nice. They look like a 19, almost more 1950s pinup. They look like Vargas girls. That looks 1950s to me. That looks 1940s to me. That looks 1940s to me. <gasps> she is beautiful. I want that hat. I love all of these. Uh, 1940s. The hair is a little bit longer in 1940s. Okay, that's definitely one of my favorites. So points to AI. It can create a ton, a ton of images in a short amount of time and they look cool. Again, like you're gonna have some with like the cross eyes or like little wonky things. It might not like look 100% like you. So that's its downfall. With a human, you can ask specifically for what you want in that photo. You can ask for what kind of lighting you want. You can ask for what kind of outfit you want, how you want it to look exactly. And they can make sure they achieve those things. Whereas this, it only can do so much. Thank you for going on this little adventure with me. I really liked this. I think it was worth $12. You get a lot of photos. I am happy and both unhappy to say at the same time that I did not get any, any photos with um, three arms. I kind of wanted to see what I looked like with three arms. Most of them look a lot like me, I think, because I upload, uploaded. I think because I uploaded a lot of photos with like good lighting. Maybe in the future I'll do a video where I'm like comparing the AI portraits and then my portrait that I do. That could be a future video. Let me know in the comments if that's something you would like to see. I was really expecting some more goofy looking ones, but they all turned out pretty nice. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. Okay, anyway, uh, bye.